I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring exterior angle property in polygons. A very important theorem is that sum of exterior angles in a convex polygon is 360 degrees. So let us see why. So let's take an example. Let's begin with a triangle. Okay, so I'm just sketching a triangle. Okay. Now, when we say exterior angles, then we can say, let's say these are the exterior angles. So these are three exterior angles. Let me call them A, B, and C. We need to prove that this is always 360 degrees. How can we do so? Think like this. We'll translate this line parallel right here. Right? So I'm just sketching this line here, kind of like this. So this line is parallel to the, so these two lines are parallel. In that case, if these two lines are parallel, that becomes a transverse line, right? Now, you will see this angle, A, should be equal to this angle. So this big angle becomes A, is it okay? Now, if you see these two lines, that line becomes transverse line. So angle C is actually equal to this side. So this is C. So if you con concentrate on this point A, A plus B plus C is how much? It is one full circle, which is 360 degrees. So that is how you can prove it. Why? Right? Uh, let's have a polygon which has four sides. Let me just increase the polygon to four sides, right? So we just increase that polygon to four sides. So I'm just making a polygon which is kind of irregular but convex. Now, the exterior, exterior angles, just as we plotted here, we could say this is A for us, this is B for us, then we have C here, and then we have D here, right? So, so these are the angles which we have. Now, if we concentrate at one point and bring down the other lines to that point, then what happens? So if I draw a line which is parallel to this line at, say, we will just translate it here, right? So let's translate it here like this. In that case, since these two lines are parallel, this angle C will be this angle C. Is that okay? Now, to get D and A, what we can do here is that we can translate this line here, right? So it becomes kind of like this. Now, this angle A is on that side. So this is A for us. And this is D for us. As you can see, combination of A, B, C, D, A plus B plus C plus D is one full circle, right? It's one full circle, right? And therefore, it has to be 360 degrees. So for any polygon, sum of exterior angles is always Three hundred and sixty degrees, right? Now there's another term here which is convex polygon. So let's explore that term also. What is convex polygon and which polygon is not convex? The polygons which I have considered so far are convex polygons. An example of a polygon which is not convex could be let's take one example where if I make a polygon like this, like an envelope. Now here, if I take a point on this side and a point on this side, these two points are inside the polygon, but when you join them, then the line joining them is a part of it outside. And that is why we say it is not convex. Or we can say concave polygon. So in such polygons, this property does not hold good, right? That is kind of important to understand. 
and that's the importance of the word convex polygon in our case. In case of a convex polygon, you can take any point inside when you join, the whole line will be inside the polygon, right? So if I take these two points, join them, the line is inside the polygon. So those are convex polygons. I hope the concept is clear. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.